Ano yung titari sa to? Mama food is the bomb! Roti telo, te tari, Maggie goreng telo mata, nasi kan I try wrapping so it's not working out. Anyway, it's so good that Murga, Allah, Jesus, Buddha, all the gods, goddesses, everybody confirm like confirm approve. It's a perfect comfort food that you can eat anytime. Breakfast, lunch, tea, dinner, tengah malam, pukul tiga pagi also can. I mean, it's where we go to support our national players during badminton championships, watch football matches, hang out sessions with friends, and it is the place that can still serve you amazing food at the end of the month when your pocket only got 10 ringgit left. It's like home, you know, and when MCO hits, right, most of us will miss mamas more than we miss our boyfriends and girlfriends. There, I said it, y'all know it's the truth, right? We know so much about the best mamas in town, where to go for the perfectly flaky roti canai, mi goreng without too many taugis and teh tarik, with the perfect ratio of susu, teh and gula. You know the kind where you drink very nice, but at least you know at the end of the month tak ayah potong kaki, sebab gula tu banyak sangat. Those kinds, macam-macam lah. But do we know the origins of the mama people and their culture? Come, we do a mini 101 on the mamas of Malaysia. Mamas are people whose Muslim ancestors had migrated from India. Most of the mamas in Malaysia are from Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The largest Indian migration to our part of the world happened in the 1800s and 1900s when the colonizers brought in indentured laborers, mainly from the southern state of Tamil Nadu, to work in plantations, among other sectors. But a lot of the Indian Muslims in Malaysia didn't come through the Kangani system. Instead, quite a number of them came in as traders, opening up small businesses in food, retail, money exchange, books. So if you guys look around now, right, a lot of local Indian Muslims are still in these businesses. So I did a little digging on the origins of the word mama and most of the sources and papers say that the word mama originates from the Tamil word mama which means maternal uncle. And since we in Malaysia can like to call older people uncle, auntie, pachi, machi, mama over the years became mama la they say. It has now become a term commonly used in not only Malaysia but also Singapore to refer to people of Indian Muslim origin and eateries that serve Indian Muslim food. <coughs> Did you know that the word mama was added into the Oxford Dictionary as one of the 500 foreign terms widely spoken and used in English-speaking countries? So cool! <laughs> yes, when they're taking the race column in forms, it will be Indian. And their religion would be Islam. <laughs> Nope, not necessarily. A lot of the annes, abangs, bosses in mamas are people of different faiths. That's a missing Muslim, and they are not always Indians. Race doesn't determine religion. Nope. Indian Muslims celebrate Raya or Eid because Deepavali is a religious festival celebrated by Hindus. That said, since they are Indians, food served during Raya may have Indian elements lah. A super famous mama food is Dal Cha. It's a lentil-based curry that is said to have originated from India and selalunya, it is made with mutton. Think of it like a thicker version of dal or sambar with tender mutton chunks in it. The dish has become so famous locally that it's now a must in a lot of local Malay weddings. So raya in a Malaysian Indian Muslim household is like the perfect blend of Indian and Malay culture. Biryani, dalcha, lemang, idiapam, raita all duduk sama-sama macam kita semua. Some can lah, but just like the rest of us, not all of us speak our mother tongue kan? Tapi, this also depends on where their ancestors come from lah. If Tamil Nadu, then it'll be Tamil. If Kerala, then it'll be Malayalam, so on and so forth. So interesting right? And this is barely scratching the surface on the beautiful, rich culture of the local Indian Muslim community. And I was just thinking lah, how cool and informative it would be for young Malaysians if we had a bunch of chapters in our textbooks dedicated to in-depth backstories of all the local cultures subcultures, everything lah. Here's to more representation, conversation and understanding.